Welcome to the IDE Series 2022. This is a video guide for how to record your robot run for the IDE Sprint event. Step 1. Set up a zoom device where it has a clear view of the playfield and teams. If you have more than one team using the same playfield, try and position the device so that all teams can be clearly seen. Step 2. Select a videoing angle where the start line can be clearly seen. Ensure that the entire playfield can also be clearly seen in the video. Use a laptop or separate device as a timer. This timer must be seen clearly in the video at all times. During practice and filming, ensure that safe distancing is observed at all times. You can practice as many times as needed and record as many robot runs as you like, but this must be done within a 90-minute time limit. Only one video can be submitted and no additional time will be given for video taking. When recording your robot run, clearly identify your team at the start. This can be done verbally or through a sign. Start at a distance behind the start line. The judge will record the time on your timer the moment your robot crosses the start line. You do not need to start and stop this timer. This timer will be running throughout. The judge will record the start time as well as the end time and use that to calculate how much time your robot took to run. Ensure that the timer is clearly visible in the video at all times. If the robot departs from the line, the judge will stop the time and calculate the score from that point. A robot is considered to have departed when the line is no longer between its two wheels. Before ending the video, briefly zoom in to all the props on the playfield so that the judge can accurately see its placement. This will allow the judge to accurately score points. Here are some important things to note. The judge will record the start and stop time when you cross the start or end line. You do not need to start and stop the timer, just leave it running in the background. If your robot leaves the line before crossing the end line, the judge will stop the time and award you the score accordingly. If the robot is touched between the start and stop in the video, the team will be disqualified. You may take as many videos as you like, but you can only submit one video. This must be done within the 90 minute time limit. The video must be in 1080p and no more than 600 megabytes. To submit your video, let's go into a web browser. Key in the submission URL provided. This URL is provided for students to be familiar with the process. On actual day, the URL will be different. Click Add Files and follow your phone's menu to find the video on your phone. Key in your team's name followed by a dash, and then key in this special PIN number that we will provide you. This is for security purposes. Then key in your email address. Be sure you check all your details, especially the video you have before you click upload. Only one video submission per team will be accepted. If working from a computer, the process is very similar. Just key in the same URL. Then navigate to the folder where your video is stored. You can drag and drop your video straight into the browser. Add in your team's name, followed by a dash and the pin that is provided, and key in your email address. Once again, double check all the details before you click upload. You will be given 20 minutes at the end of the competition to upload your video. During this time, no additional robot runs may be made. Check with the judge that your video was correctly uploaded before you log off from Zoom. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see you for the competition. Goodbye!